okay find the time period of oscillations of the system you should not get confused already we know enough background that the diagram is little bit changed here that's all what is the basic method okay let me take this x let the elongation of this spring be x1 elongation of this spring be x2 first superposition principle we have to apply it <coughs> so i'll i'll begin like this so let let this spring let let uh, this spring not be let i assume that there is only string like this then if the block moves by 1 meter if this moves by 1 meter here 1 meter 1 meter will increase so then how much this should elongate by 2 meter what is the displacement of this twice of this x1 is twice of this or x is half of this one there's no other way student has to think analyze because as a teacher i don't have any other explanation more than this huh? please uh, try to understand there's some limit from teacher side also beyond that no teacher can go uh, ultimately again it depends upon the student only he should able to make observation uh, assume that this spring is not there okay fine this is okay now this move by 1 meter here 1 meter 1 meter will increase so how much length is increase 2 meter from where it will come this should elongate by how much by 2 meter so therefore if the block moves by 1 meter this will move by 2 meter so what is the displacement of block half of it now leave this there's no spring is there here let let's assume that this is string then if this moves by <coughs> if here it moves by 1 meter here 1 meter 1 meter will increase okay get this one 1 meter 1 meter so this will along it by 2 meter if this moves by 1 meter How, how much it will move? Or, or or you can begin this. You are getting confusion. Okay, assume that there's no spring is there. Only string is there. Let it move by. Let this pulley block move by one meter. If the block moves by one meter, means here one meter, one meter will increase. No. Then how much this should move? By two meter. If this moves by two meter, two meter, two meter will increase. Then how much should along it by four meter? So not understanding. Okay, think, think again, once again. That's all. No, no other way, sir. Why don't you give any formula so that will substitute will get answer? Not possible. Huh? Science is not about all formulas. Science is about making observation. So what is the method here? What you should do? So first, I'll, I'll start. Why, why this is? Huh? So assume that the spring is not there. String is there. So definitely, what happens? This pulley cannot move if this the spring is not there. Then Let the block move by one meter. Here, one meter, one will increase. This will increase. This will get deflected by two meters. So, displacement of spring K is twice of the block, or displacement of block is half of it. Assume here string is there. Now here spring is there. Only spring is here. Then let the block move by one meter. One meter, one meter will increase. So, two meter length from where it increases. So, this should move by two meter. If this moves by two meter here, two meter, two meter increase. So from 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 where this additional length will come, spring should along it by four meter. So therefore, four meter. This is a one meter. So therefore, displacement of block is one fourth of elongation of this spring. Okay, let's come to the spring forces. So here two k. What is the trick I should use now? It should be like this, no?
Anybody will you write any equation? Four k x two should be equal to k x one. <coughs> any reason for that? These two forces should be equal, no? So next equation is four k x two equal to k x one. Then energy equation m v square by two k x one square by two two k x two square by two. Differentiate and solve, you'll get the required answer. This is looking at at spring k. Okay, you do get wide varieties of thing, but overall methodology will be same. Huh? You have to stick on to the overall method. The conditions will be same. Let me give one more. I think we don't have space.